Hello friends and fans, and welcome to Wine and Canvas Indianapolis Online. My name is Bird, and I'm going to be your instructor. And this is the beautiful painting that we're about to do. But before we get started, let's go over a few things just to make your job at home a little bit easier. The first thing is, is our apron. Typically in the studio, we provide aprons to everybody to try to prevent any paint from getting on their clothing. And the good thing is, is we just recently started providing plastic aprons in your kits. If you did not receive one of your aprons, we're sorry, but we probably delivered your material to you before we got our shipment of aprons in. Now, if you don't have an apron, that's perfectly fine. You can wear older clothes that you don't mind paint getting on. The good thing about this is, is, even if you do get paint on your clothing, it will come out as long as you wash it within 48 hours. Now in the studio, I always tell everybody to make sure that if you get paint on your clothing, go home, throw a little shout on it, give it a slight scrub and throw it in the washer. And as long as you wash it within 48 hours, it will come out. However, if you don't wash it within 48 hours, it won't come out. So be very cautious. And if you get paint on your clothing, Make sure you get it washed out before it stains your clothing because the last thing that we want to do here at Wine and Canvas is to ruin anybody's clothing. If you have an apron, go ahead and put your apron on. And if you don't have an apron, make sure you go put something on real quick that you don't mind paint getting on. Just pause the video and go and get your apron on. I'm going to put mine on right now while you guys are putting yours on. Okay, so now we all have our aprons or our older clothes on and we're protecting our clothing. So the next thing that we want to go over is our paint brushes. For this painting, we're going to be using four brushes and everybody should have received four brushes in their kit. Let's go ahead and pick those brushes up now. At Wine and Canvas, we refer to our paintbrush by number. Number one is our smallest brush. This is your fine point liner brush all the way up to number four being our largest brush. So we have a one, two, three, and four brush. So if I tell you guys that we're gonna use our number three brush, go ahead and pick out your number three brush and hold them up to your TVs. I can't see them, but I bet you that you guys are all holding up your number three brush and you're actually ready to start painting. But let's go over a couple more things first. The next thing is our water cups. We did not provide a water cup for you guys in your kits. So you guys are going to want to go ahead and get a cup. Now, this could be any kind of cup. You can use a styrofoam cup, a paper cup, a plastic cup, a mason jar, or even a cup from your cupboard. If you're using a cup from your cupboard, don't worry. Just like with your clothing, as long as you wash it, it will come out. It's acrylic paint and it actually is pretty forgiving. So go ahead and get you a cup of water. Make sure that you fill it at least halfway up with water so that way you can dip your paint brushes in. And once you get your water, go ahead and take those four brushes and set them upside down in your cup of water. Okay, now let's go over our paint. Everybody should have received a paper plate with little cups of paint in your kits. This paint is the paint that we're going to be using for our painting. Now, the way I would advise for you to do this is, is leave your paint in your cups and only pull enough out of the cup that you need to actually do the part of the painting that we're going to be working on. So I'll pull a little bit of paint out of my cup, apply it onto my paper plate, so that way I can mix the water in with it or mix any other colors with it that I'm going to need to actually achieve the color blending that we're going to have in our painting. And the very last thing that you're going to want is your wine. This is wine and canvas after all. So it's not wine and canvas if you don't have your wine. We do have wine and we actually sell wine and beer and we'll deliver it to your home with your kits for any future class that you actually do with us. All you have to do is let us know that you want our drink menu and we'll be happy to send that over to you so you could choose whatever drinks that you want while you're doing a class with us. Now, if you have your wine, 
let's go ahead and have a toast. Thank you all for joining in on our class.
close down early. So you'll have to close down early, so that means you need to get the mowing done as soon as possible.
exciting. I wasn't that fun. I want to thank all of you for painting with me today. I hope you had fun. And I hope to see you in one studio one day painting with us or tune into another one of our future classes. If you had fun and you liked this video, please scroll down and click on like and subscribe to our channel so you can be updated on all the stuff that we have going on with Wine & Canvas Indianapolis. You'll be the first to know of any new changes that we have. And trust me, we have a lot of new positive changes coming and you'll be the first to know. So subscribe below and please leave us a comment on what you think that we could do to make our videos better and your time with us that much more enjoyable. Also, please send us a picture of your finalized painting at our email address below. We would love to see how your paintings turned out. And once again, everybody, remember, we're making memories one painting at a time. Bye.